Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. A very serious article here that I just saw, uh, just caught it today, in fact, but something uh, Guglielmo Miotti wrote on Thursday uh, about a prayer meeting that happened. And we're not talking about a Christian prayer meeting. We are talking about uh, imams that got together and organized a massive prayer by Islamic uh, Islamic uh, people there inside of Rome, Italy. But what's really startling about this, let me just read a little bit of what Aguilio writes here. He says, the American philosopher Lee Harris said it a most important thing. The glory of the West has been the uh, eradication of the virus of fanaticism, but perhaps we have achieved it at a price of our defeat. The multicultural paradox of which Rome's mass prayers was another manifestation looks like this. We are afraid of each other and we try to flatter. We do not know ourselves, so we don't see our enemy's goals. The mass prayer in front of the Colosseum is a way of saying we are radically different. And we say this in front of your historical national monuments. But is there someone who hears them? Now, when he talks about that national monument, one of the main things that he's speaking about is outside of the Crusaders Colosseum in Rome itself. This one here, uh, I'd actually uh, shot the filming of this a little while back inside of Rome there myself as we were getting ready to film a news broadcast. But what really gets my attention is they say that a picture is worth a thousand words. And if you look at this right here and you see the imams that organize this event of the jihadists that they bring in. And I call it jihadists because when you look at the beginning of the article here, some of the things that they speak about is the fact that they're doing this from a ra radical point of view. They're, they're saying that either they will, they will win. They said, here's what one of the statements is here. They chose a symbol of Western culture and did so under the wise guidance of political imams. This was not an Islam respect, respectful of secular or democratic nature of Italian institutions. It was a political branch of an imam that does not separate state and mosque. The Muslim Brotherhood, whose slogan was never changed since the time of Hassan al-Banan, but is that banana? Banana, I guess. Allah is our goal, the prophet, our leader, the Quran, our law, the jihad, our way, dying for the way of Allah is our greatest hope. So therefore, yes, they're jihadist. But notice, though, it's the Muslim Brotherhood. Now, Barack Obama has also been uh, indicted by many journalists that say that, yes, he is also part of the Muslim Brotherhood. And he is backing some very radical Islamic terrorists in the Middle East trying to overthrow Bashar al-Assad. And we know that President Bashar al-Assad definitely is not a terrorist. In fact, if anything, he's the one that has supported the Christian community in his country. And they have been able to live in freedom there and able to worship the way they choose to do so. As well as he supports Shiite and Sunni Muslims, the Kurds and the Druze. That's a pretty good diversified uh, uh, setup, if you ask me. But at any rate, there uh, it goes on to say that this particular Islamic mass was like a refusal of the illusion of the cultural peace, slowly being strangled and punctuated by the Quranic invocations. Something similar had already happened in front of the Milan, uh, Milan's main cathedral, and uh, excuse me, and uh, Bo uh, Bologna Church of San uh, uh, Petronini, Petronio. The target of Islamic fundamentalism is because of Francesco by uh, Giovanni da Modena that de depicts Muhammad amongst the damned in accordance with the Dante's Divine Comedy. Uh, but the point is, guys, that I wanted to bring out to you here is that the, the Muslims that gathered together, they were saying that they're going to either conquer uh, Rome either by word or by sword. That's an outright threat. And here they are in front of this, uh, in front of one of the arcs here, this is not the Ark of Titus, this is the, uh, the, uh, the Ark of Constantine. And this is where Constantine did his great victory battle. So it is worth a thousand words. They are there for a reason. And that's to show that they are coming to conquer. Uh, I do believe that that is, has a lot to do with it. One other thing I want to share with you as well, and this right here uh, is the 
the uh, the M MIM-104 Patriot surface-to-air missile systems that are involved in a, a drill by the United States moving them to show their rapid deployment that they can be able to move the, the Patriot surface-to-air de uh, missile defense systems down to Romania, according to U.S. officials that are saying this here. They were loading them on train cars in Germany, and they are headed to Romania. Uh, I, I know it's called drills and everything, but I can tell you one thing, the more and more we see these things that are happening, it is alarming and it is concerning. The constant buildup of military forces all across Russia's western border, Eastern Europe, um, and I'm very concerned about the future of this world. And it's clearly, rapidly moving forward, a new world order. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.